At the end of step three, preparing an instance, we did click the launch instance button. So now in step five, we will verify that our instance has been appropriately started and is in a running state. So we will navigate to the EC2 management console and you can see that our instance named tutorial example has been listed here and is in a running state. That means that the instance is ready to go and we'll soon be able to log in and start running the tutorial. I do wanna note though, that when the instance is in a running state, you are incurring charges. So if you plan on get up, getting up and leaving for a while and you do not want to incur charges, I would suggest you go up to the instance state dropdown and stop your instance. That will allow you to save all of your work, but not be charged for this instance being in a running state. If you then want to come back and start working again, you'll click on your instance and you will click start instance to restart your instance. I do wanna note when you restart an instance, it is likely that your public IP address will change. So you will have to make sure that when you log in, you change your public IP address appropriately. In addition, if you are completely done with an instance and you have no use for it, you can also select it and then to the drop down, terminate your instance. I do want to note that when you terminate an instance, it completely goes away and any of the work done is also lost with it.